Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World where we are once again out here at Screamageddon, the horror theme park in Dade City. If you've been watching the channel, you've seen lots of videos from out here because they've got multiple haunted houses, zombie paintball, a beer garden, uh, axe throwing, carnival festivities, lots of fun stuff happening out here in Dade City. But tonight, we are going to show you what it's like to play zombie paintball. So come take a look. Zombie paintball assault is one of the many fun things to do out here at Screamageddon in Dade City. And you enter this building here and notice there is a map that shows where you are going to go and the different zones. And uh, pay close attention to Sector 5 because, well, those zombies smell like ass, apparently. Yeah. So when it is your turn to go kill zombies, this bus pulls up that is equipped with all the weaponry that you need and you're going to go ahead and load up on this bus and you'll notice when you get inside here that uh, one side of the bus has benches on it right there where you're going to sit and the other side has all these guns lots and lots of paintball guns just lining the window right there and uh, and you're reminded by the various graffiti and things like that painted inside the bus that, uh, well, zombies hate fast food. So make sure that you move fast. Now, when the bus pulls out, you get to enter the atmospheric woods here at night with all these wonderful colored lights, and they go over how this game is going to be played, how you're going to shoot the guns, what's going to happen, and they do all this while they're loading up your pellets, which you get to use on some test shots right here on this van. Once everybody's guns are working properly, it's time to open fire on anything that moves. This is so much fun. I play this every year, and it seems like I get worse and worse at it every year. <laughs> but it's still a lot of fun. And uh, just going out here and seeing all these cool sets that they have built up, and the lighting, and the glow paint, and the zombies that are wandering around. It's very, very cool. That one is hilarious right there, holding a shield. Um, but, uh, but you can also, if you get there early enough, you can play it in the daytime and it's a whole different feel like the darkness you can see the glowing pellets and things like that but in the daytime it looks like this in the day when you play in the day you get to see a lot more of the sets you can see the zombies better uh, you can sort of see where they are where they're coming from and things like that uh, and, and and appreciate more of the details that have gone uh, into uh, building these sets and, and this environment. Um, you can't see the bullets as well because, you know, while well, you can see some of them, you know, shooting across there as little, as little balls, um, not like at night where they just streak across there just glowing. Uh, so it is a completely different experience. But um, I don't know, I, I recommend doing it twice. Get there early so you can do it in the daylight like this. And uh, and then hang around after you do a few haunted houses that are out here at Screamageddon. Um, go back and play a zombie paintball at night. And get that full night experience also. Because it really is two completely different things. Now, when you get done shooting and killing all your zombies, the bus is going to take you back to where you began. And uh, you'll just unload and head on your way back into the Screamageddon Midway and more haunted houses. So that is the paintball experience. There you go. That is playing zombie paintball out here at Screamageddon in Dade City, Florida. It's a ton of fun. Make sure you check out their website to find out how to get tickets and what hours they're open and all the details about what's happening out here. It's one of my favorite haunted locations in Florida. It's so much fun. 
So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers of B know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.